Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another Shop My Stash. So this week coming up on Monday, I'm actually going to start going to work. Are you working already? Or are you still staying home? I've been off work for six weeks. So it is kind of time to go back to work, I guess. But I kind of liked staying home. So <laughs> it was kind of like a... I want to stay home, but I want to go back to work, kind of, to have more, like, people, socialization, but right now is not really a good time to be doing that, but anyways, I have to go back to work now, so, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and shop my stash, so if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out, and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product is my Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Shine Fixing Spray. Um, This does a pretty good job. I did enjoy it. I'm almost done with this. I should probably leave it in to try to finish it off. Should I do that? Because it just keeps getting put back over there and it's just still halfway, you know? So we'll leave this in another week. Um, For foundation this past week, I used the Uma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. This is in the shade Fair Lady T2W. I actually really enjoyed this foundation. The shade is a little too light for me and I haven't even been out in the sun. So uh, it's a little too light. So once comes summer, this is gonna be light, but I can mix it with like a deeper foundation. I do like the way it looks on my skin. It's like a matte, but not super dry it was really nice I actually enjoyed it it was it was nice so I remember last week I didn't really remember what I thought of this but I do like it everything else on top you guys know it's project pan items for um mascara this week I had the bad gal bang mascara by benefit it's okay I don't really like it on its own I think I would like it more if I paired it with another mascara but we'll be picking a new one for lipsticks this week I did use all of these this gloss by kaleidos in the shade crystallize is super pretty it has blue purple reflex i did use this for my daughter's birthday she had a birthday last friday um i used that and then this one by lancome and mademoiselle loves is really pretty it's a sheer wash of color on the lips it does have more pigment than like a sheer lipstick but not enough pigment like a regular lipstick and i also did use my spicy mauve by maybelline this one's really nice your lips but better kind of shade so we'll put those away also did use my liners this week you guys know i love the neon liners by la girl this is a lip liner but i still use it in the waterline also love these ones by ardency in um, you can get these super cheap i actually have an orange one that i just got in a few days ago so maybe i'll pull that for this week for brows this week, I used both of these, the Maybelline Ultra Slim. I don't really like this formula. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, this one, the ABH Brow Definer in Dark Brown, it, it does a good job. So, uh, For liner, liquid liner this week, I used the Kaja Wink Stamp. It was like a two-in-one, so you got the liquid liner and then you got the stamp. I feel like it's harder for me to use the stamp than to actually just do the wing liner, so I don't really use the wing stamp. I could probably declutter that. I think I'm going to film a declutter this weekend. We'll see. Um, I don't really like how it isn't very smooth. It kind of skips on my eyelids. But it's pretty dark. Also, drop that. <laughs> I don't know if I used this actually. We'll leave it in. This is the Heavy Metal Glitter in Starfire. And then Project Camp items. For primer, I did use this Tula Skincare Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. This is really nice. I did notice my skin really smooth and poreless. This is really nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, this Pat McGrath Powder, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in Medium is alright. I do notice that it has like a ton of kickback with, I don't know if it's just the type of brush I have that I use or if it just is this way. I don't know it's okay I didn't really notice a big difference the first week and I was like well let me keep it in another week to make sure to use it more and stuff like that but I used it again this past week and it's okay a few people raved about this which was the reason why I wanted to pick it up but it's okay it's not I don't think it's amazing or anything let me know if you think it's amazing I don't know I didn't see the hype on this I love this powder by Too Faced a Born This Way um, I love this powder. It makes your skin blurred and super pretty smooth. I love this powder. It's one of my favorites. Um, the 
Giorgio Armani Concealer. I really enjoyed it. It has a really nice formula. I feel like it isn't super full coverage, but it is pretty much like a coverage. It's not heavy on the under eyes either. It's really nice and creamy. I don't know. The formula doesn't feel thick and it's also super hydrating. I did like it, but I don't think it's full coverage. And then look at the applicator. I think it's pretty cool. I like that. Power Fabric Concealer, and I have mine in the shade 5 if you're interested or if you're around my skin tone. This primer I used a couple times. I do want to use it more just because I did receive this from Octoly and Clarence, so I want to use this more. I might not pick a primer for the week just so I can get more use out of this. And then these are Project Pans. This has been, been chilling in here, but I think I'm going to switch it out for my Pixie Under Eye Corrector, so we'll put that away. I actually really like this. I do find that it brightens the under eyes and preps it for my concealer. Um, I do like this one. And then down here I have my NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. I do like this, it's not super pigmented, um, but I think it looks super beautiful on my skin. I like the highlighter and all these. I mix or match and apply them to my cheeks. I think it's really, really beautiful. Again, this formula is not super pigmented. You can't even see that. I didn't really swatch it very well. But I do feel like I have to go really heavy-handed with my brush. But it, I think it looks beautiful on my skin. It's just a really unique formula. Also did use my California blush by Benefits, like a corally blush. It's really pretty for spring summertime. I also did use this. I really enjoyed it. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. And it's, it's supposed to be a highlight, but I kind of use it as like a blush topper highlight i applied it like in the back parts of my cheeks to kind of and like higher up to apply as highlight as well i think it's really pretty and you can see like the color in there it's kind of like a peachy color it's really pretty the bare minerals bronzer in faux tan i feel like is more on the cooler side and you can definitely tell from what i've been using like the physicians formula butter bronzer it's it's okay. I'm not really a big fan of cool tone bronzers. I usually just bronze up my skin. So it was, I didn't really enjoy it this week, but it's me. <laughs> this is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Seychelles. This is beautiful. It just gives a beautiful sheen to my cheeks and I do enjoy it. This is the only Buxom blush I have and I would buy more. Also did enjoy my two I Love Sari Tentos of Colors in Bathe and Soulmate. These look dark in the pan, but when you apply them, they're not dark. I haven't been swatching anything, but I swatched a lot of this stuff in my last stash, in my stash video when I picked them. So those are the two highlights. It's a pinky and a champagne color. So we'll put those away. Also did use my Maxalina in La Leyenda, the highlight. This is beautiful. It looks dark, but I didn't find that it looked too dark on my skin. You can kind of see that it is a little dark. But I thought it was still pretty. Um, it is a little more darker than what I like. But overall, I'm happy I have this in my collection. I didn't use these this Tristique um, cream blush, so I'll leave it in. And then these two I didn't use either. Um, I don't know. This one, you guys know that I've been dipping my nails. I've been doing my own nails and I've been doing a dip powder. And I think I'm going to use this eyeshadow for a dip color because it's super pretty for my nails, but I wouldn't really use this on my eyes because I do find that it's more like a deeper shade. So I think I'm just gonna take it out of here and again, just kind of apply it for my nails and mix it with like a clear powder. Look how pretty that is. But on the eyes, I feel like it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna declutter this for my makeup, but use it for my nails. <laughs> And then this one is pretty. This one is in bronze. Maybe I'll leave this in another week since I didn't use it. It's super pretty. I'm not a big fan of pigments. I don't have very many and don't really reach for the ones I do have. I don't know. Maybe I'll take this out and use it as a dip powder too. I don't know. We'll leave it in another week. And this highlight is in a project pen. So I've just been leaving it in there. And that is all. So let's go ahead and shop my stash. So I do have a bit of new makeup to share with you guys because um, during quarantine, there was a lot of good sales. And I just got these in yesterday. You guys, I don't know if you, let me know if you guys caught this deal or not, but Giorgio Armani had a buy one, get one free on these Lip Mastro Intense Velvet Colors. And then you got this foundation for free. I paid $40 for 
these three items. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation. I picked the shade 5.5. I haven't used this foundation in forever. And when I saw that deal, I was like, I'm going to jump on that. That's such a great deal. This foundation is $64 on its own. And each of these lippies are $38 each. And I got everything for, again, $40 which is awesome so yeah i'm gonna use this foundation for this week this is the luminous silk foundation in the shade 5.5 hopefully the shade is a good match for me if not i'll have to mix in some yellow pigments because it looked light yesterday but now it looks kind of dark hmm i don't know we'll test it out and see but i haven't used this foundation in forever and when i saw it, it was free i was like gonna jump on this deal Maybe I'll pick these ones for it this week too. Giorgio Armani had like super good deals. Like that concealer, I got it for 30% off. Here's this shade. This is in the shade 200. Again, these are the uh, intense velvet colors. This is kind of dark a little bit. Hmm. This is more of a like a fall shade. And then this one is in the shade 202. Ooh, this is more of my kind of color for every day. Yeah, so we'll be picking at those this week. And then I also did get this uh, Meteorite blush by ColourPop. I actually was interested in their uh, She's a Solstice palette, but it kind of reminded me of my um, Huda Beauty Medium Nude. So I didn't pick it up. I just got this blush, but this is beautiful. So I'm going to take this for blush this week because it's super pretty. Also going to be taking this LA Colors Neon. This is a lip liner, but again, I've been using these in my waterline as well. So this is in the shade Outrage. It's just an orange color. Ooh, it's not as bright as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of like a corally orange color. It's really pretty. And what else? Oh, I also did get some Maxalina lipsticks. I had to pick up those. I think that's all I want to use from in here. <laughs> so I just realized I totally forgot to talk about my eyeshadow palette I used last week. And it was the Norvina Volume 3 palette. And I really enjoyed it. Of course, I didn't use all of the shades in here. But this palette is super pigmented. I pretty much used... Like the browns, I did use dip into this purple, this color too. I pretty much used all these shimmer shades, these lighter shimmer shades, and this purple one too. I, overall, I do like this palette. What do you guys think of volume four? I'm kind of eyeing it. I don't know. I might wait for it to come to Ulta, maybe pick it up with some points later on once um, they send out like a 20% off coupon as well. So I'm probably going to hold off on of picking that up, but I'm kind of interested, especially if I can just pick it up with my points. So I already know which eyeshadow palette I want to use, so I might as well just come over here. And I'm going to use my Conspiracy palette. I've been thinking about this for a few weeks, so I'm going to go ahead and use it since I'm going to go back to work. I can use this palette. It has some neutrals and then some fun pops of color as well. Here is my palette. I'm so excited to use this. I feel like I have the warm tone shades in here. I have fun pops of color. I have purples and pretty colors to use here, so we're going to use this for this week. So we're going to move over here. Okay, I decided to move you guys up just because when I watch out my stash, I like to see what's inside the drawer, not kind of see what's in there. <laughs> so let's see here for mascara. What did I recently use? I think I just used these two. I'm going to use this one. This is the Mascara Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I do like this one on its own, so I think we should pick that. And then for brows, I think I'm going to pick just like an under, like a thin brow pencil this week. I'm going to take the Joa Beauty one. And then I'm going to use my Winky Luxe brow pencil that's in my um, project pen. And then for eyeshadow, well, let's pick the corrector, which I said I would. Pixie corrector in Brightening Peach to correct my dark circles. Oh my gosh, I've been waking up so late. And now that I'm going to go to work, I have to be at work by 7.45. Oh my gosh, wish me luck. <laughs> so for concealer, let's take this one by L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. What shade do I have? I have the shade 360 Cashmere. We will take this, and I think that is all. 
Next up is primer. Well, I want to focus on the Clarence to really have a good review on that for next week. So far, I do like it. Two times I've used it, but I want to use it more. Next up is powder. I actually really want to focus. Okay, so I think I've been focusing on this a lot. I just want to finish it already. I don't have very much left. I just did an update on this. I want to finish this. So I think I'm not going to pick any powders until I finish this. Should we do that? So I might be in for a couple weeks because I don't think I can finish this in one. I don't know. But we're going to take my cover effects that's in my project pen. Next up is bronzer. For bronzer this week. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this one. The Balm Bahama Mama. I haven't used this in forever. And I've had it for forever. So this is a nice bronzer. Not a contour shade. So I'm going to take this. And then we have blush, which I do have one blush to use this week. Oh, and then I do have the cream blush as well. And I have the meteorite, so maybe we should pick like uh, an everyday kind of blush too. Mm. I really like this. The Nabla highlights are nice. This is a, as a blush topper, super pretty too. I kind of want to use my hourglass ones. Those are really nice. So... I wonder if I should take a peachy blush since the cream one is peachy. This one is a peachy blush. This is by Mally Beauty in Perfect Peach. So I'm going to take this to kind of set the peach cream one. And then we'll pick one for like a neutral. Maybe this one. And Party by Tarte. Next up is highlight. Oh, I've been wanting to use this too. This is the Natasha Denona Glow Powder in 01 Light. This is really pretty. And it's kind of blinding. It doesn't feel super chunky or anything, but it's super pretty on my skin. So I'm going to take this and maybe one more. Hmm. I need to do a declutter. I should definitely go through my drawers and film a declutter this weekend because I have a lot of stuff. This was in a project pen forever ago and I have I have I don't think I've picked it in a while. Um what was it saying? That I need to declutter, I think. Uh this is the Becca Shimmering Skid Perfector in Champagne Pop. Look how big of a pan of a pan I have. <laughs> This is beautiful. I remember when I got it. I even kept this because it was like in collab with Jaclyn Hill. Eh, I'm in the fence about Jaclyn Hill right now. But this highlight is super pretty. So we're going to take both of those. Eyeliner. Let's pick this Hank and Henry Slick With It in the shade Blickety Black. It's just a felt tip. And then I have the orange... And let's go with this one in Prance by Colourpop. This is really pretty. I Whoa. Oh, no, I broke it. What the heck? It just came down. That's super pretty. Okay, we're going to take those two. Glitters. I still have the heavy metal one. This takes up like the whole thing. <laughs> it's okay. I'll stick some of this stuff in here. Whoop. So those are all the products I'm going to be taking for this week's Shop My Stash. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!